fancy seeing you here. Fancy seeing you. It's you, it's delighted, Dave. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, we're diddling. Hey, uh, hello, hey, yo, hey, yo. Hello, hey, up, and welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another bit of nosiness. It's New Year's Day. It's not at this point, it's New Year's Eve, but this has been uploaded on New Year's Day. Fancy bumping into Delighted Dave. He did come with me in the car and I did pick him up at seven o'clock this morning. Right then, what's the dealio Dave? Well, I'll tell you what the dealio Dave is. Look at that. That's an impressive sight, isn't it? Now, what you're looking at there, I'm not gonna give this location away, um, but this is a mighty impressive water mill that was built in the 1700s. And we're gonna go in there and have a nosy because guess what? The camera's just fell over. <laughs> I tell you what though, Dave, we're really professional on this channel, aren't we? Aren't we? I mean, I've, 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 lost me, uh, I've lost me wind muffler, so Dave's provided me with a pair of his boxer shorts, look. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not really, it's for cleaning his, for wiping his camera lens, don't worry, but yeah. Without any further ado, let's take you in there and have a re good nosy. Come on, Dave, I think you're gonna enjoy this. Wow, look at this, Dave. I mean, look at this here. Wow. wow. This, is, this is what it's all about. Well, it is, that's why we do it. Never mind that, let's get in here. Come on. Look at these, look at these big flagstones here, look. They're nice, aren't they? They're massive, they are. This is incredible. It is amazing. There's a brick here. <laughs> right, so you can probably hear the rushing of water. So this would be where the wheel still is. Wow, it's still here. Oh my God, look at the size of that wheel. That is humongous. You've still got the water rushing through down here, look. This is absolutely amazing, everybody. What a sight this is. I can't really get in there. I'm, I'm not gonna walk on that plank there because it looks rotten, but this is incredible, Dave. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, just look at the wooden paddles that are still there on it. Absolutely amazing. But of course, the water rushes through here now. Now it's been allowed to do that since the, uh, the mill was finished with. What you've got here, look, see these workings here? That is part of the old sluice gate. And here's the interesting bit. Here, I think, is where they used to open the sluice every day to get the mill working and functioning. So you'd have had a key, a handle on here, turn that, and it would have indeed lifted the sluice gate up. Now this little mechanism here, that obviously holds this cog in place uh, to keep it open, I assume. Can you see what I mean, look? We've got that in between the, the two teeth there. But amazing, incredible. I mean, God knows what how big that wheel is. It's the widest one I've seen since filming these adventures anyway, but yeah, stunning. So of course, where Dave's just been sticking his nose, that is where the wheel is. And of course, that would have been attached to all this gear in here. And it's amazing that this is still all here in situ. Incredible, I mean, just look at this here, wow. Just absolutely wow. I'm, to be honest with you, people, I'm a, bit, uh, I'm a bit lost for words. We drove all the way out here today, expecting this to be all properly locked up. Um, but to be able to get in here and look at this, is something else, isn't it, Dave? Right, so how can you get bored in this beautiful nation of ours when you've got all this stuff to look at. You can't get bored, can you, Dave? No. I don't get bored, he don't. But I mean, you know, look at all this down here. I mean, the engineering that's taking place here to, you know, to build all this, it's second to none. Well, and here it still is. Yeah, what's that then? Oh, wooden wheel. Isn't it? Oh, wooden wheel. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, so, oh shit. <laughs> so, a belt would have gone round there once. Interesting. Now, for me, these look like old seed drills uh, for planting seeds in fields, of course. I mean, these are incredible. Do you know what, Dave? This is a dream for you, isn't it? Photography-wise. Yeah, I've not even started yet. No, it's amazing. 
but yeah there's some sort of a, a shoot here look that's interesting and there's there's a few levels to this place as well it's there's so much to see i mean just look everywhere everywhere you look there's something to see yeah yeah belt drives yeah yeah still yeah like dave says look at that up there i mean it's fallen off it's slipped off but you've still got a belt on that one but yeah these are two amazing pieces of equipment very old um definitely seed drills and i'll show you how they worked actually because this one at the back is a great example of a seed drill from back in the day wooden cartwheels on it look absolutely amazing but <laughs> Right, so, oh, just a bit stuck. So what you'd have done here, so you'd have put your, your seed in the top here, Fisons. So yeah, your seed would have gone in there, as you can see. And then it found its way into these mini individual shoots, look, can you see that? So one there, one there, one there, they go, they go all along the, the back of the machine then the seed finds its way into these individual pipes here look these shoots and then they disperse here look see that so you know in terms of um, seed drills these machines haven't changed an awful lot since they're invented I mean I think they're pretty much still the same now same system of working as what you've got here but absolutely fantastic piece of kit I feel so privileged to have been in here today to look at this amazing structure and these pieces of old machinery. So we've actually come up a level now, and as you can see in the distance, there's more workings there. But like Dave's just pointed out, look at all this corn still on the floor here. I mean, it must be so old. You've even got, you've even got sacks here, Dave. There's still sacks here. So it's, to be honest, as, as many of you know that watch my videos, I love mills, anything to do with mills. Even if it's just a trace of a mill still left in a river. Um, but, you know, for me, I don't think I'm going to find any better than this, ladies and gentlemen, to come and look at with these adventures. I mean, to find a mill like this, in the condition it's in, I mean, you have to watch where you're walking in places here, but to have all these workings still intact like that there, you know, it's quite rare for us, isn't it, Dave? To be honest, just look at this. So as you can see there, got a very big worrying hole in the floor. We're not going to go walking over there, but if you can probably hear that, you can hear the water. So be beneath where that floor has fallen in there, that's where the wheel is. And of course, I showed you the gearing next to where the wheelhouse was downstairs. And of course, that is all joined up to this here. And what's quite amazing is on this gearing, you can still see an old you know, driving belt there still intact where it should be that's incredible i've never i've never seen stuff like this before dave no, I haven't. never not intact i mean at shepshed water mill yeah you know that's still being used to a degree but this is really interesting Steve. remember the guy at shepshed telling us how to put the wooden teeth on look yeah just uh just carve that's it yeah so you can see here just move your torch away dave you've got the wooden teeth here so to, to still see them there, that's amazing as well. They're still numbered, look, number 12. Yeah, I think if you jammed up these cogs, these wooden uh, teeth would just break rather than seize everything up. They'd just all snap. It was like a safety thing. You're just full of knowledge you are, aren't you, Dave? I remember them telling us at Shepshed. I mean, it's just, I'm in awe of the fact that they're still here. I am as well. Do you see that over there, look? That driving belt, just the other side of that, um, what I could only describe as chicken wire. Can you see that? It's still on a wheel in situ where it should be. It looks quite tight still as well. So, to do, you know, if someone could switch all this on still, um, <laughs> it'd still do its job, I think. But, yeah, I mean, just look at this here. So, you have to watch where you walk here. Uh, it's almost part of the job, isn't it? Watching what you do. But look at this here, down here, look. There's a shoot there, look. 
So amazing. But this mill, um, you know, like I said earlier, I'm not actually sure how old it is. We think it's been extended. Uh, we think it was the original part was built in the 1700s, the late 1700s, possibly, or a bit earlier. Um, but it's definitely been extended in the 1800s. Look at this behind you, Dave. Got a hoist here, look. Oh, I've had a look there. Still got the chain. Wow, look at that. Superb. So, so the bags of corn would have been hoisted up there, I would have thought. Yeah, I think so. Look at this driving belt here, again. No, this, this is that big one from downstairs. Isn't it amazing? Look, wooden end, look at this wood here. Yeah, yeah. Stop the belt from coming off. <laughs> Pretty, isn't it? Absolutely. Pretty it? damn amazing, that's what I'd say. Right, so as my wonderful associate has just pointed out here, we've got a belt here, look. Some sort of driving belt, but it's a driving belt unlike no other, isn't it, Dave? Because yeah. you have indeed got scoops on it, look. See that? So it was obviously going into corn or something. Must have been, eh, Dave? Yeah, Scooping corn been. and then tipping it somewhere. But it's amazing, yeah. I'm struggling to work it out. But that's what they definitely are. I've never seen anything like that. That's wonderful, aren't they? They're amazing. Yeah, they are absolutely amazing. I think that's that's all that's going to be said on this video, I think. Look at the wear on them stairs where people have run up over the years, look. Yeah, very precarious stairs as well, aren't they? Yeah, I can see what you mean. See where they've yeah, yeah. worn out? Yeah, they have as well. There's been a lot of feet up and down them, yeah. haven't there? Yeah. Very steep stairs as well, aren't they, in these mills? Okay. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. It's like blocks it off. It's but ain't that an amazing bit of detail that we've still got this bit of sack? Yeah. This Essien sack, isn't it? Yeah. Or whatever you call it, it's still wrapped round here. Just these little details, isn't it, Dave? It's everything, right? Yeah. Dave's performing his magic with his camera, I see. Steve. What are you seeing now? <laughs> He's always got to touch stuff, isn't he? You're it's, like a kid. It still works. Oh, let me show you. You lot are as bad as him. And me. Go on, Dave. Be like a child. After all these years, look. Yeah. So what do we think this would do in separating the chafe? I'm not, I'm not the sure chaff or whatever you call it. This one looks interesting. It's definitely, definitely to do with corn anyway. So what's it, hold on, what's this say? WB Stubbs and Son, Progress Works, Hawksworth, Nottinghamshire. Ah, it, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a riddle, look. Right, so if you like then, this machine here, it's a sieve or it's a riddler of some sort. So, um, so what they're doing, I assume then, because as you can see, you've still, got, you've still got bits of corn all over the hockey, look. So what they're doing then, Dave, they're feeding this corn through and they're getting the crap out of it before the millet. I assume that's what they're doing. I mean, they weren't putting Budweiser through it, look. Other beers are available. <laughs> but you know, whatever's going on here, it's a, it's a fantastic bit of kit. And to still have it here, where it should be, is amazing. And for me, that means it's a 10 from Len. Right, so what's fascinating here, you've got this piece of machinery that Dave is trying to get going as per usual <laughs> and as Dave has just pointed out this is a water powered generator that's what you said didn't you yeah but it's a pump yeah and it's a pump and I'll show you as to why that is in a minute it all, it all becomes very clear when I first came in here I didn't really understand it comprehend that's a better word to use but yeah it's fascinating this is to show them on these here you what mate because when I turn this wheel they actually operate yeah let's show Let's show the ladies and gentlemen at home. Oh shit. <laughs> right, so as you can see, Dave's got it, <laughs> Dave's got it working. So this, if you like then, is a water powered generator. And I'll give all the credit here to, to my associate here, Dr. Dave, um, because round here, 
see these look, these are pumps. These are pumps here, so they would have been going up and down, up and down, up and down. Drive belt on there that would have gone to this big wheel here. Yeah. Now the wheel house is in there, isn't it, Dave? Yeah. It, that's, that's over there somewhere yeah. at, at the end of the building. So yeah, another piece of fantastic machinery, this. There were great minds, weren't they, Dave? Oh, these, it's, it's, these people were. Just fascinating, it? Yeah. And it's all still here, and we can turn it by hand. Yeah. <laughs> You've certainly been turning it. And the crudeness, look, and the balancing weights. Yeah. Look, the balancing weights, like I said, that would have been to, that would be like a float thing. It's you are clever. Yeah, it's just... You're on form today. I'm on form today. Must be that cold porridge you've had. Hey, you ain't had a Melvin Cobb yet. Look, it's I know, thing. it's amazing. <laughs> you ain't got to tell me, Dave. But I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, we've found something else. Well, I actually found this. Dave didn't. He's getting no credit for this. Just look at this baby over here. Right, so when I got here, I said to you, I wasn't sure when this was built. Now, I'd seen online, um, I'd seen online that someone said there was some graffiti in here from the 1700s. Well, just look at this. Now, you'll struggle to make it out in this light, I think. But... Just there, that looks like 1762. That's definitely a one, that's definitely a seven, that's definitely a six, but I'm not sure if that's, it. yeah, I think that is a two actually. Then above, we've got some more. I'm not sure what that says. I think that's somebody's initials, maybe a T and an S. Then here, we've got TB 1777. Now, I don't know if there was a tuberculosis outbreak here in then, um, and then just above, we've got some more that's, that's unreadable. So for me, this part that you're looking at, this out, because this is an outside wall. What we've got here, where this machinery is that I've just been, just been showing you, this is, a, this is like a lean-to, if you like, a wooden lean-to. But ain't that incredible, those dates? So yeah, 1762. So we pretty much then know that this was here. This wall, this mill, the old part of it was here, as, a, as early back as that. Stunning. I tell you something, if only walls could talk, eh? I could sit there all night with a few beers listening to them, I know that much. Massive, aren't they? Oh, look, they just all these wooden peg things. Yeah. To stop them. They're incredible. Architecture. <laughs> yeah, it's the details. This is what this is yeah. why we do what we do, isn't it? Because but, the but this fascinates me. At first glance, people think, oh, they're metal. Yeah. They're not, they're bloody wood, they're probably oak. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're probably oak. But they're still here, not rotted away. No, they're metal. And this is why we love what we do, isn't it, Dave? You know, yeah. There's, there's always something to discover. You know, it's, you know, what we've got left, what there is to see. I mean, this place, everyone in this local area will know about this because it's right next to a village, it's right next to a public footpath. Yeah, and we've drove the best part of 50 miles to come and have a look, haven't we, Dave? Right. And people just stroll by here, not really giving it much thought, but... But we do. We love it, don't we? Yeah. So we think this is where they were filling the sacks of corn up. I mean, it, it makes sense to me. We're on the bottom floor here. Yeah. The main door is... I think they were probably using this door behind the camera here. But, um, yeah, and I love these details, look, Dave. You've still got these... Uh, Still got these sliders here, look. So, yeah. So obviously when they weren't using this one, they closed it off. Yeah. Right, what are you getting in a flap about now, Dave? Oh, I'm just saying. Tell the world. The beams that are holding the floor up. Yes, there is a big beam there and it's been chopped. They've chopped that. There's the other half of it there. To put this, all I can assume, is a chute and some stairs in. I know, we've just been walking above that. I know. Don't tell Marion and Vanessa, eh? Hey. How, how on earth they got away with it back then? Yeah, well they didn't have the building inspector picking it, picking his nose, sticking his nose in That's there. Unreal. <laughs> That's what it should look like. Yeah. This big it's unreal, beam. isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely yeah, but to be unreal. honest, I mean, just look at the size of these beams here. This one here and that one over there. They probably thought, yeah, they'll hold this bit of floor up here. <laughs> Oh, this is crazy. 
That was fantastic, that was, Dave. Amazing. One of the best explorers. Oh, before. incredible. Even the sun's come out for us, look. I know. In terms of its structure, I think this is the best thing I've ever been to look at, Dave. Period. It's just so complete. Yeah. It's just so complete. Right, so if you remember, I was telling you that this place had been extended. And you can see that. Can you see where the you've got the old red brickwork on that side? That's the original side of the building. And this side is the newer side. Um, is that ironstone, Dave, or limestone, sandstone? Not quite sure. It, look, it looks, it's got a tinge of red in it, so it could be ironstone. I know there were ironstone mines around here, weren't there, in this area, I think. But, you know, even the extension on this place is old. But if you can just notice, the roof isn't that old. It's had a new roof at some point. Now, it is a parapeted roof. Uh, and as you can see, you know, each end, you've got the raised gable making it a parapeted roof, but yeah. Fantastic building. The gutters need cleaning out. And I tell you what, me and delighted Dave know for sure now that this end is the, the more modern, if you like, extended end. Because there's, there's a date stone up there that I think says 1850. But this man right here will prove that because he's gonna take a picture. Zoom right in on it, ain't ya? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Can't get the staff, can you? Right, well, unfortunately, that concludes today's video, and that was absolutely amazing, that was. One of the best things we've ever seen. I mean, you've literally got a village behind the camber here. This, this location's well known. This isn't a new discovery by any stretch of the imagination, but it was so easy to get in there. And what's left inside is just... Just amazing. Second to none. I think, to be honest with you, great way this is for me personally to kickstart 2022 with in terms of making videos. I mean, yes, we're not in Leicestershire, and I know a lot of you like me going to places in Leicestershire, but we can't always do that. At the end of the day, from John O'Groats to Cornwall, it's all the same bit of land, isn't it, Dave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got so much to discover, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in our, in our neck of the woods. But that, for me, in terms of actual structures to go inside, that's my favourite, without a shadow of a doubt so far. Yeah, and mine. Enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Worth getting up for. What? You just won't believe what was in there. And no. it still moved. It still moved. Yeah. And you know, what a day it's been for me today. I've been out with my buddy, looked around an amazing building, and wore, wore his wife fronts on, on my muffler. <laughs> It's not really, it's, it, it really is for wiping his camera lens. It's not for wiping anything else, believe me. Right, on that note, anything else to add, Dave? I just want to wish all the viewers a happy new year. Yeah, and from me as well. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, each and every one of you, right from the start in 2020, in the August, I think it was. Really appreciate it. But let's, let's try and drive it forward now. Let's get a few more in. Let's have a laugh and share all this wonder, wonderment. Is that a word? Wonder, but it is now. Yeah, it is now. I'm copywriting Wonderment. that. And uh, I'll see you again for another one. Bye-bye. <laughs>